With thousands of clothing brands out there, it's crucial to stand out. And with 3D mock-ups, it's an easy way to achieve just that. Want to learn how? Let me show you. First, download Blender. I'll leave the link in the description. Next, download one of my 3D mock-ups. I'm going to use the 3D hoodie mock-up, but you can choose whichever you prefer. Extract the file and then open the folder. Here you'll find multiple files. Open the Photoshop one. You'll see different sections of the hoodie, and each section is named accordingly to match the parts of the hoodie. Hide the info layer and drag your design into Photoshop. After you've positioned your design where you want it, all you have to do is select the color you want and save the project. Make sure to save the project to avoid any issues later on. Next, go back to the folder. Here, you'll find two Blender projects. The project with the rock. It's a GIF that I'll reveal at the end of the video. Open the other one. If you have a graphics card, go to Edit, then Preferences, select System, and choose your GPU. Then, click here and change CPU to GPU. Remember, this step is only for those who have a graphics card. Now, we're ready to see our design. Click on this icon, and you'll see that our design is projected based on how we positioned it in Photoshop. Now you can customize your mock-up however you like, simply by opening your Photoshop file and making the changes you want. Always make sure to save your project and update the view each time you make a change. The project has two different cameras. To select the one you want, simply click on this icon. It also contains two versions of the mock-up, cap up and cap down. To select the one you want, activate these two icons and deactivate them in the other. It also includes the 360 version and the static one with a wind effect. To deactivate the 360 animation, simply select the empty, then move this backward, right behind this. Now, to render, click on this icon, scroll down, and click on Output. Here, by default, you'll find that the mock-up is set to export as a PNG with a transparent background. This is useful if you want to change the background, but you'll need an external program like Premiere or After Effects to open the file. If you want to export it directly as a video, follow these steps. After that, click here and choose the folder where you want to save your video. Now, click here and adjust the number of samples. More samples mean higher quality. 550 is a good number of samples, but if you don't have a powerful computer, I recommend lowering it to around 220 and enabling these two options. As I mentioned at the beginning, this project comes with a gift. Let me show it to you. Go back to the folder and now open the project with Rock at the end. Since many of you requested a version with an environment similar to the previous video, this project includes a high quality and realistic environment with an animated camera. I hope you enjoy it. Let's continue. Finally, select Render and click Render Animation. It will start rendering our mock-up automatically. This usually takes a few hours, so I recommend leaving your computer on and coming back later. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Thank you.